It's Thursday, it's time for my grocery haul, and you guys, I got some crazy good deals on meat this week. I can't wait to show you. Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and I am so excited about this week's grocery haul. It is the first time I've been out of my house in a couple of weeks to do any kind of shopping, and I was thrilled to go out and actually try to find some deals. So I went out, of course, with my mask, and we went to my discount grocery store. I also popped in Ollie's and Ingles and got some things that I have been looking for for a while. So spent more than usual, but since I actually have been spending almost nothing lately, I'm sure we're gonna come out well in terms of the whole month. So. I'm going to show you my totals on the board, show you my receipts, and then I'm going to show you everything that I got. I'm telling you, these deals, this is like, these are the kind of deals you watch my channel for. I'm just telling you. So let's look at the board. Okay, so the discount grocery store, I spent $67.80. Now you know if I spent almost $70 there, something was happening. So that should just, that should just give you a clue. I also spent $7.40 at Ollie's. And at Ingles, I spent $15.21 for a total of $90.41. I'll tell you right off the bat, I actually went to Ollie's first, specifically looking for something. And then I went to Ingles just to see if they had any good deals that I was going to pick up. And then after that, I popped by the discount grocery store. I should have gone there first. I should have gone there first, but it's okay. I have some great stuff. I'm going to show you my receipts, and then we'll show you what we bought. Okay, so here are the receipts, and look at this. Six. $57.80 at the discount store. Ollie's $7.40 and Ingles $15.21. And look what I got. You guys, look at all that stuff. I can't even believe it. So, I don't even know where to begin. Let's start with Ollie's. I actually went in Ollie's just looking for these large spices because somebody had told me that you can get them there. And so I went looking. So I actually got this big container of ground cinnamon and it was $3.79. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so that was a good deal. We actually run out of it pretty quickly. I was happy with that. And I also grabbed some parsley that was only $2.49. And then I grabbed this onion powder. Do you guys remember last week I had the issue with the garlic powder and the onion powder at Walmart? Y'all, I will, I will never get that at Walmart again. This entire container, which is, let me see how many ounces are on here. 15 ounces was not labeled. They actually gave it to me for 97 cents. Yeah. That should last me a while. I'm really happy. In fact, I should have gotten more. Maybe I will next time I'm in there. But this was all that I got at Ollie's for that $7.40 and we're good and stocked up on some basic spices. Then the next place that I went to was Ingles and I was just kind of looking to see if they had any good deals. Didn't really see much. But I knew this, I do not have any chicken in my house and I have like a ton of chicken recipes that I want to try from Croctober. So they did have these boneless breasts on sale for $1.98 a pound and I thought, well, I'll grab two packages and that'll set me up for a little while. If I don't find any other good deals, I'm good. And so um, I spent $7.29 on this one and $7.62 on this one. So the total of both of those was with tax was $15.21. And then I had my boneless chicken and I was like, well, if I find nothing else, I'm happy. But then look at this. Y'all, I went to the discount store and I found so many good deals. It was crazy. So I'm gonna start with the non-meat deals. And the first thing I got was this celery and these organic carrots. And they were both 50 cents each, so I got them two for a dollar. Then the next thing I got was, they had this deal on these kind bars. So they had this box of, almond butter dark chocolate bars and then they also had these individual bars which i got peanut butter dark chocolate this is dark chocolate nuts and sea salt and this is just a peanut butter one they were all 50 cents each which if you don't know they're like three dollars a piece normally so i was glad to get it i don't know if you can see the date on this one but that goes out in march 2021 so they're still good and then this pack of gum was a dollar. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this box was 99 cents. So we got some good deals there. And then they had the Annie's Organic Spirals with butter and Parmesan. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like it's, there we go. Annie's Organic Spirals with butter and Parmesan, um, mac and cheese. And I was really excited to grab this for 50 cents. It's a really good deal, got four of those. 
that's it for the non-meat things because everything else was meat. I don't even know where to begin. This is a package of thighs and it's a very large package and it doesn't have a weight on it but it does say they're three dollars and fifty cents and I felt like that was a good deal but I don't use a ton of thighs so I just got two packages so they're there. Then I saw this ground bison which isn't the cheapest meat by any means but Rick has been talking about trying it and I thought well we're probably never gonna find a better deal than this. I grabbed this for $4.99 for each package and I just got two. So that'll be kind of an experiment meet. We'll see how we feel about it since it was affordable this time and it's just something to try. Then we grabbed these um, smoked turkey sausage links, which we like to make some soups with those in the winter, especially crock pot meals, you guys. And they were $1.79 each. I also got two. But then these were my best deals, right? So back here in the back, I actually put it in these produce bags because they were leaking a little bit and I was just trying to make it work. But these 10 pound bags of chicken leg quarters were $5, you guys. Do you see that, $5? It was a crazy good deal. I grabbed two, they didn't have very many and some of them were, were leaking quite a lot. So I just, I got these and I was very happy to get 20 pounds worth of meat for $10. That's a great deal. But this was the best deal. Now I would have to actually take some time to add all of this up. But these are split chicken breasts, which are actually my favorite to cook with. I think they're flavorful and you have all that good breast meat. But see this package is $9.66. This one was $10.38. Do you know how much I paid for these? Each of these split chicken breast packages were $1.50. 1.50. One point five zero, a dollar fifty, a dollar. I love a good deal. So y'all, I'm not even kidding you. I was like, I'm gonna get ten of these, and spend fifteen dollars and get a bunch of chicken to fill my freezer. Cause I, like I said, I had almost no chicken. I got plenty of chicken now. Not even kidding you. But I told Brianna because we were going through the freezers. They had tons of these. And I was like, you find the ones with the biggest amount in it. So, cause we're going to get our biggest bang for our buck. So I was like, there's nothing here that is under $8. And by the way, I don't know if you can see this. They were originally two sixty nine dollars a pound. This one is three and a half pounds of meat for $1.50. Do that math y'all. Do that math. $1.50 divided by 3.59 pounds. That's 41 cents a pound, 42 if you round up. Look at that y'all, such a good deal. I, I'm telling you what, I'm gonna add this up. I'm gonna see how much I actually got, how much worth of split chicken breasts is sitting here and how much I actually paid because this was an amazing deal and I was so happy to get it because this is like I said, my favorite cut of chicken. So we're gonna use this like crazy. And by the way, in case you didn't notice, it's in date. It goes, it goes out of date the 23rd, but all of it looks great. And they were actually in the process of freezing it. So I snatched it out before it started to freeze. And that was actually perfect for me because I think I might repackage them. This is all so good. And that is what I got. So 11 packages, by the way, I was going to get 10, but I accidentally grabbed 11 and I was fine with that. Not a waste of $1.50. Um, 11 packages of those, two big 20, you know, two 10 pound bags. So 20 pounds of the leg quarters, thighs, and then of course boneless skinless chicken breast and a little bit of extra stuff. Y'all, we are set for a good long time. Can you believe that? Cause I cannot believe that. And I get good deals, but that was a super good deal. I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away, do some repackaging and stuff, but tell me how excited you are about those deals. Cause like, I'm so excited about them. I'm not even kidding you. And I came home and in my mailbox was a gift card from Lowe's because in like March, I bought some paint and there was a rebate on it. And of course, you know, I sent in that paperwork and it was just now coming to me. And by the way, Lowe's is having clearance sale. So I'm gonna be shopping Lowe's online with my gift card and it is a good day and I am happy. So anyway, <laughs> thank y'all for hanging out with me and joining me for my grocery haul. I'm so glad to get back out and do some grocery shopping myself. 
it brings me great joy clearly and don't forget we're still in crocktober lots of great crock pot meals today, today taylor elmore made pizza soup and she made a crusty italian bread which looked amazing so i'm just saying i'm gonna have links for crocktober i'll put taylor's link down there too you guys make sure you check them out go see all those videos get some great recipes do your thing y'all there's a ton of great chicken recipes a ton of i'm gonna be making cranberry chicken this coming week so anyway that's it i gotta put this stuff away so thank you for hanging out with me come back tomorrow i think i'm gonna have another little haul for you maybe not a grocery haul maybe something else you'll see so it's gonna be a good time y'all have a great day i'll see you next time bye